everyone and welcome to my channel and if you are new here my name is Shannon now in today's video will be a part one of of my full charm collection ranging from Pandora troll beads on beads and more now, so, so now let's get started. So, with the first part of this series will be on everything what's in my suckers box, jewellery box. And this is my first layer. And you can already see I've got loose charms in it and I will go round to one as it goes along. So for the first compartment I have here, I have my Essence bracelets. in silver with CZ's on them and I do apologise in advance I've not done this for a while with like family reasons but that's one bracelet and if I can see I'm not sure I'm not sure on the meanings let me look this one's caring and the other one is But loyalty, I think. Let me look. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, loyalty. Now that's my first bracelet. My second one is the beaded bracelet. But I only have the one charm on. So I have the Mickey Essence Charm. I'm hoping to get Mini. So that's that one. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention these bracelets. I'm in a size 18. And then they, this one is a Pandora Me. Bracelet in the same size. Now one's friendship and the other one is caring. But this were like a set where I got the bracelet, the two stoppers. And the Crescent Moon charm you can see here for like £50. I have no more from the Me collection, but I am hoping to uh, get more. So that's that one. And for my next one i have i have the rose gold one gold bracelet which i don't like wearing a lot of because i'm scared of the rose gold wearing off but i do have the like the mini one i only have the one essence bead 
and that's the strength in the facet. And that's all of my Essence and Pandora Me collection. Let's get them there. And then you did notice in this section, I do have only the two Reflections bracelet bracelets. I have the oxidised one in size 18, I think. I can't be too sure. And then I have the new, what came out this year, the multi-strand bracelet, reflections bracelet, with the one charm here in that, uh, the O charm. And then I do have another one, but I've not yet took out the bag. I have the, uh, I think it's called Sparkling Leaf. And yeah, that's, that's all I've got in the reflections. But what I have on the rest of the sections, I have my sort of like Harry Potter theme. As if you've seen my other two videos, which I will link in the description below, I have up two other bracelets. So what I've got on here. I have the Ravenclaw, the Gryffindor, I have the uh, Christmas tree, not Christmas tree, the Christmas cat for like Christmas at Hogwarts or like P Professor McGonagall when she turns herself into a cat or even um, Mrs. Norris. So the next time. I have, I have, <laughs> I have like Baby Groot, which I thought would uh, represent, like, say, the Whomping Willow. Now, this Groot is not a Pandora, but it's a Denounce. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then I've got the grey from Aurora Beads. But I know it's um, Gandalf the grey. But I like to pretend it's Professor Dumbledore. With his stone on his staff. And then I have the Slytherin dangle. And these are the only three houses, house charms of it I have got. I am missing only one from the Harry Potter collection, which is Hufflepuff. But I am hoping to get that soon before it's retired. So that's that working progress bracelet. And then for my next start of that design, I have like a Lady Gaga theme bracelet design. And I do have things to represent her, but it's not yet completed. So what I've got so far, I've got Bruno Punk, I think he's called Punk Bruno. It was limited edition. 
with like uh, I think it was like four other charms. They had uh, I think it Theo the bear, the dinosaur one, and a robot one, robot girl one, bella bat one, and then I uh, this is not Pandora. Or I don't know what brand this is, but it has Lady Gaga on one side and Born This Way the other side. And then this one I was shocked because I thought it was like a, a New York exclusive. Hang on there. New York exclusive um, with that uh, the Apple, the Statue of Liberty, and the yellow taxis, and then I have uh, the vampire because, like American Horror, she played a vampire, but she always calls her fans little monsters as well, so it represents that. And then this last charm I have on here is the Love Manchester where it has Love Manchester on one side and then the Manchester Bee on the other side. Now this is because I went to see her like um, three times and then when I did go to get the tickets to see her I did get the tickets to go and see her the fourth. She had to cancel a tour, which I was very gutted about. So that's that bracelet design. Now on to this design. I'll come up with it's um, like another work in progress again. It's gonna think it as like a act as like a second. Aladdin bracelet which I will link below of my other bracelet if you have not seen it already which I will do with uh, other bracelets I got so this the, this design is uh, a mixture of elf beads and morass beads and the first charm you can see here is the princess bead and then I can't remember the name of it but this glass bead is like a tiger print Let's hold on there a minute facets going round it and then I have the monkey which is also Maurice looks like cuddling what should be a what a glass bead in the middle but I've not got any of the Maurice ones yet as of yet but I'm hoping to but for now what I've got this bead which is called Python which is such a lovely bead I, I didn't pick this when um, I ordered from beads candy shop because uh, at the same time I got the princess as well So that's them and then I have the white on bead it goes in the dark but I can't think of the name at the moment so that's that one and then I have the uh, tiger to represent Raja I think 
yeah, there's a, and that's that design. And then on this one, I just have like uh, the new uh, frosted blue Murano. Also new. And then I have the uh, black and blue heart. That's it, black heart. And the Cinderella glass bead now with this design I'm I'm hoping to do like a Cinderella theme so that's that's everything from my first layer of my stackers I'll just let you look once more before I go on to my second layer. I've got I forgot to mention as well I have this design which if you can see I have the bear with the core core the evil queen radiant heart by Pinocchio Dangle, and then I have the Snow White clip as well as the Seven Dwarf Spacer. I have the uh, Silver Dream Catcher, which the writing on it says Follow Your Dreams, and then I have the Galaxy Spacer as well as the two-tone bike carriage for Cinderella and then I have also this dangle which were part of the summer last year collection mm. and it says as in rose gold and then underneath not underneath, sorry. On on here it says love anchors the soul. And then I have the like a radiant arts clip to balance out the evil queen. And then I have Little Red Riding Hood. Now this is another work in progress. But I am hoping to do like say like a, if you ever watched the series Once Upon a Time. That's the theme what I'm going towards with this one. Now for my second layer. I have put only the two bracelets from uh, troll beads and for the first bracelet I have I have it on a, a dragon clasp with uh, like an 18 centimeter long chain along with like two copper spacers Like uh, two copper spaces, and then I can't name them all, and I do apologise for that. But I have this like 
blue one, which I, I think it was part of the winter collection with the balls in it, it's in blue. And then I have, I think it's the two dragons. And I have the centerpiece, I have the phoenix, which on the top bit of the phoenix, because you can put other beads, glass beads to it. I have this one, which is like, to me, like fire. But this one I can name. I think it's called the Forest Mist. With all the different purples, blues, greens. And then this one came free when I got that bracelet. I'm blanking on the name again. But this one is a the uh, Northern Lights bead. This was my first bead I ever bought with this bracelet as well as that one. And I'm f I do have a safety chain on but only because I uh, struggle getting them on. So that's say like my first bracelet. Now on to my second one. I have this one. I have I think it's called the Tiger Blue. Together apart. The I think it's the Fleur de Lace. stopper but I like to think it use it as like a charm I have this one which is like the leopard or the jaguar this one this one and that one a part of the same like collection I am hoping to get them all because it's my favorite collection they've done since I started collecting. Now um, on to the next one I have the blizzard. Now this one glows in the dark and then I have this one is uh, like a chunky bead and like I said I, I'm new to I'm still new to troll beads so I will blank out on the names of them so I've got this one. I have what on eBay said it was like a limited edition one in I think it was 2017 and it's the Pokemon Pokeball bead. And yeah, and this is the green tiger or zebra what goes with the blue one so that's my uh, second layer of my stackers and I do have a charm bar here that's for any loose troll beads I get in the future but that's it for my second layer now on to my next one. For my third and possibly my final stackers layer, I have my four necklaces. Three that are Pandora and one that isn't, but it were like a 18th birthday gift of my brother. So for the first one I have on he in here is the uh, Dobby one, like the Harry Potter one. So I've got like Dobby, 
charm on the ball, ball white thing. If I can get it out to see, show it you. Yeah. One I'm clippy on ones. And for this is like a red belly frog charm, which I do like wearing on that one, that bracelet. But for now, it's in this bit. That's the snowy owl from Red Belly Frog. Really love it. Let's get this back in there. I know. On to my second ne necklace, I have the snake chain necklace. Now this one was my first Pandora necklace. I can't, can't at the minute think of the size of it. But what I have on, on it for now, I have the no beaded small O pendant with the uh, rose dangle what came out valentine's day this year followed by just a normal necklace with another o pendant now this one was my first one and because i loved this one and i wore it day in day out I got that one so this one I have the new Beauty and the Beast pendant on it for now I love this one as I'm a massive massive Beauty and the Beast fan and for my final necklace I have the purple facet 14 locket which in the future i would love to get some petites but for now i'm happy with what i have and yeah that's everything in my stackers jewelry box and if you would like to see more of my collection please stay in tune for the second part of this collection video and until next time bye bye